San Salvador, the capital city of El Salvador, is a bustling place filled with culture, history and many great sights and sounds. Yet, on the outskirts of San Salvador, many people live in poverty, surrounded by gangs and violence. Isabel lives with her family in a one-roomed house beside a disused railway line. With poverty and threats all around her, her life is a constant challenge. I have lived here all my life. Even before I was born, all my family already lived here. There are lots of difficulties living here in this community. Gangs have built up in the last few years, and those on one side of the street are against those from the other side. What's really horrible is to see guys I played with when we were kids running around with guns. Just yesterday we heard a couple of shots. As soon as we got inside the church we heard shooting. And if we hadn't got into the church, who knows where we would be right now. The area is very dangerous. Uh, many people get involved in different gangs. They enter because they, they want to find uh, somebody to, to protect them and to feel they protected because they feel that uh, nobody uh, loves them, nobody has interest in them. Sister Cruz and the Sisters of St. Clair, supported by CAFOD, run a project that gets local young people off the streets and helps them to avoid joining gangs. During the week, young leaders like Isabel are trained to teach and inspire others. We do exercises, we talk about different themes like delinquency, we talk about what we're doing to combat this, about our values and then we share all of this with other young people. On Saturdays in the local school building, the young leaders and a child psychologist run sessions for children and other young people on different skills for growing in self-confidence and building peace. I run workshops with groups of young people here at the school, where they learn through play, using techniques which encourage them to think. The children feel very supported when you're with them. It gives them energy and makes them feel good. The course is about gathering a group of young people together and teaching us to pass our knowledge on to the next generation. At the Saturday project, Isabel teaches modern dance. She organizes uh, some activities. For example, she says, I love dance. So I say, if you love dance, you can teach how to dance. The way is we are developing this project is to have the, the chance to give the young people uh, the opportunity to, to develop the gift they have. So they share their, their gift by teaching others children. Supported by the Sisters of St. Clair, despite the poverty and violence all around them, Isabel and her friends are not only helping themselves, but also helping to give their community the hope of a brighter and more peaceful future. We will work with them so that when they get to our age, they'll say to themselves, let's change things in our country. <laughs>